Well, I've done a few videos on YouTube on our Moen Flow water control system, but I am back at one of our properties now to show you what to do when it stops working. Some of the comments on a couple of my other videos mentioned the flow system abruptly stopping and not monitoring water flow anymore. And I happened to realize that we had that issue here at one of our properties. What happens is the little turbine inside it is a piece of plastic with a couple of magnets on it and it stops working and basically water's flowing and the monitor isn't reading any flow. So the only way for you to actually figure this out is to be watching your water usage. We had a bunch of people throughout the summer staying here and I happened to pull up the water usage and it was zero. Obviously something's up there. The good news is you still can remotely turn it off and it still does its nightly health check because that's based on water pressure, not water flow. So it shuts it off, measures your pressure drop, but it's not protecting you against any massive leaks, which is an issue. Your house, your water pipes will not be protected by a massive leak. The unit will have no way of knowing that water is flowing because literally it shows zero flow. Biggest problem I have here is I wish Moen would add some type of alert to say, hey, you haven't used any water in like a month. Is anyone at the house or is this busted? Really, in my opinion, this is an easy fix in their software if they would just calculate what is a non-typical amount of time that's passed for zero water to flow. It could shoot you an email or an alert on your app just to check in and say, hey, is your unit still working? Because we have not measured any water in a long time. That aside, I was able to contact Moen, tell them the problem. All I needed to do was submit to them a picture of my unit so they could verify the inlet size and they sent a replacement part out to me free of charge. Didn't even have to provide any proof of purchase or anything like that. I'm gonna walk you through today the simple replacement of the turbine on your Moen Flow unit. All right, here's the part number for the three quarter inch valve straight from Moen. You can actually find this online. I think there's some sites selling it for about 10 bucks. But again, if you contact Moen, they're going to give it to you for free. It's got the plastic impeller there. Also comes with the cover piece that holds that in. And then a package of two new O-rings along with some O-ring grease just to help with install. And then you have your install instructions and that's it to do this job you can easily do it yourself you really you're not going to have to call a plumber and you really only need two tools you need a pair of adjustable uh, pliers or channel locks and a pair of needle nose that's pretty much it okay first thing we're gonna do is shut the main water off to the house and then go find our lowest point drain try to get as much water out of these pipes as we can okay water's off we're also going to disconnect the power to the unit and I don't have a great low point drain here in the basement, so there's gonna be some water that comes out of this. So I'm just gonna put a towel here to try to catch some of it. I would typically use a second backup wrench on the other side of this union when loosening things like this, but these plastic nuts were on so loose that I didn't bother you. Certainly wouldn't hurt though. They're, they're not gonna be tightened very much because uh, that could be easily broken and they're threaded onto the unit. And I really just broke it free with the pliers. I'm gonna do it by hand. Up here, we're going counterclockwise. Broke it free. You could almost do this by hand. Again, when we retighten this, we wanna make sure not to tighten them too much because that'll very easily break. It's the rubber O-ring that's gonna seal it. Oh, again, this one's loose. Right here's that O-ring. Make absolute certain you find both of those old O-rings. Again, make sure you find those. Because the last thing you want to be doing is installing two O-rings in one union there. That's going to be a potential leak point. Okay, here again is our new parts. I'm going to save the O-rings for when we reinstall it on the pipe. We have our flow direction. So it is sitting like this. We are going to take our needle nose, carefully remove that. That comes out pretty easy. This whole piece is getting replaced. Here's the new one, here's the old one. Has an O-ring around it as well, already installed. 
on the new one. Okay, and directly inside here, you can see the turbine. Again, pair of needle nose pliers. I'm just gonna pull it out. And you can see these are little magnets here. Okay, so just briefly comparing these two, they do look somewhat similar. It looks like they changed a little bit on how the magnet is mounted in there. Now for these size units, this is symmetrical. So it doesn't matter which way this goes in. Pop this one in there. Take our new top piece. Gently push that in. And that's it. All right, for reinstallation, we're gonna use the new O-rings. A little bit of grease here. It's gonna help hold it in place when we put it in and also make sure we don't damage this O-ring while we're installing. I always like to keep some of this grease in my plumbing box anytime I'm putting O-rings in for this reason. So it's nice that Moen includes that. So they are good to go. All right, back over at the unit, making sure we're oriented in the correct way. There's our flow direction arrow going up. Make sure I didn't lose any O-rings. Loose here to make sure we're both on there. I would say the biggest thing here is making sure those rings are still there when you tighten it. Although you'll know it if they're not because it'll leak right away. All right. Finger tight there. And I'm talking eighth of a turn with these, barely anything, maybe a quarter. Yeah, just snug. Don't be tempted to go Thor on these things because you'll bust them off and turn this job into a much bigger one. When you reconnect, make sure that connector seats all the way down and those lights come on. Sometimes it seems like it's in but it's not all the way down. Before you go ahead and test this out to see if the replacement works, definitely make sure your lights turn on, your unit reboots and connects to your Wi-Fi. Okay, now that we have both lights green, the valve and the status, we'll go ahead and pull our app up and then we'll go ahead and turn on some faucets and see if we got some actual flow going. All right, that's it. We are back up and running. We are successfully measuring our flow again. And once again, it's an easy job. Not sure the reason for why these turbines are failing. It was a pretty common problem. People, again, in my other videos mentioning in the comments, and my really only major gripe is that you don't know what's happening unless you're diligent about checking your water usage. You have one of these units, you're thinking about getting them, keep an eye on that water usage, make sure that the flow is continuing to be monitored. And if you notice that it's not, make sure you contact Moen, get your replacement turbine, get you back in business. Please see my referral code below in the description box. Unfortunately, there is no discount anymore, but it does help out my channel and support what I'm trying to do here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all my new videos in the world of property management, renovation, Airbnbs, real estate investing in general, and pretty much any other project I get myself into.